going on folks, CG2269 here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a new full length walkthrough on how to do the Easter egg on the new ExoZombie map Outbreak. So I've been playing this new map quite a bit now. I've got the Easter egg down to a T, so I'm pretty excited to be bringing you my very first full length walkthrough. Um, I've never done a full gameplay walkthrough like this from front to end, so I do apologize if the commentary is not 100% the best, but um, I'll definitely make sure to open my mouth and keep you informed on what's going on on any of the steps that are anywhere near involved with the Easter egg in any way, so I do apologize if I get a little quiet on the mic, but if it's got anything to do with the Easter egg, I'll let you know what's going on. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is just get them all balled up. Once you got them all balled up, give them a few shots in the leg, give them a knife to the head. Um, basically, you want to get your points up as early as possible. So, go ahead and just shoot them in the leg. Three, four bullets, knife them in the head. Try to get as many points as you can. Um... What you're going to need to do is get enough points to open up the exosuit and to get boost slam. I personally like to get enough points for the exosuit, boost slam, and exo health, but the exo health is not required for the Easter egg, so it's up to you. That's how I like to do it. You might prefer to do it without the health. It's up to you. So once again, you're just going to do the same technique, just kind of keep shooting them in the legs, knifing them in the head, and just get them all balled up. Um, while you're doing this, you probably don't want to... Whoa, what am I hitting? Jump. Alright. Yeah, while you're doing this, you probably don't want to waste too many bullets too early because you're going to want to save them for round three and do a lot more you're shooting in round three you can actually just kind of walk up and double knife these ones in round two if you want without getting killed usually so try to save your bullets that way you can let them off in round three and get your points up real early by the end of round three you want to have enough to basically do the whole first step of the easter egg So. We're going to save one zombie at the end of round three, and I'm going to explain the uh, first section of the Easter egg to you. As I play, you'll see me looking around a lot at these little uh, machines. I'm constantly trying to find extra credits and get my points up real early. So you're going to want to aim right there for his procreator and then uh, give him a knife in the head after you put a whole clip in his good old procreator. And uh, other than that, just run him around in your little circle like usual. Get him into a ball. You don't have to run him around. It kind of wastes a little bit of time on the first few rounds. But at the same time, if you do run him around, you can... Uh, basically get penetration shots so that you can get a lot more points for a lot less bullets just more efficient so we'll get them nice and clustered up over here um, that wasn't a very good job of getting them clustered alright there we go we'll get them nice and clustered up once you get them clustered up once again just go for the heads if you can once you run out of bullets just knife what's left um, save one at the end of this round. It's pretty crucial that you save one at the end of round three. Oh yeah, that'll help. So we'll get us a double multiplier over here. Um, since we got that, we'll go ahead and just open this first door. You're going to want to go to this side. Um, you'll see why in a minute. It has to do with the Easter egg. Um, for giggles, I'm going to run up and, uh, hit the secret song piece. <clears throat> we'll grab an MP11 so we can get back out here and make use of this double point right before it wears off. Uh, just spray off a few double point kills right there. Alright. So we got us some double points. 
now that we got the double points we've got more than enough money to do what we need to do so we'll just get it down to one zombie real quick alright well fine then I didn't want to knife you anyways alright so it looks like we're probably down to one zombie we'll go ahead and open this right here um nah we'll go ahead and hold off on that for a moment so we'll come over here and get these points turn on this power and then we're gonna go ahead and get this exosuit and then once we get the exosuit we will go ahead and get started with this easter egg so we'll just come down here turn on this power get the exosuit real quick sorry that my controller keeps my my video might be a little bit skippy my controller keeps yanking way to the left on its own so my character keeps running to the left every single time I let go of the remote just kinda making it hard to have my character not move around a whole bunch for the video but well whatever we'll go ahead and switch back to the good remote here in a second Alright, so we'll get over this way, get away from this zombie, and we'll switch back to the good remote real quick. Alright, I apologize, but I'm tired of walking to the left every two seconds. Alright, so basically the very first step of the easter egg does start in this first room you don't have to leave the room to start the easter egg like I did but you really can't go too far with the easter egg until you have boost slam and that requires an exosuit so I figured I'd go get the exosuit first but basically when you come into this corner over here by exomedic if you look there is a little black box right here if you hold square or X on Xbox, it will pick up the little black box and put it in your inventory, as you see down there on the bottom left corner. What we're going to do is take that little black box into that white and blue computer room that we just ran through to get to the exosuits. And we're going to turn it into a certain computer. So we'll go ahead and leave a dog or two and run it to that computer and then shoot the dog and then turn it into the computer so you can hear what it has to say well my volume is probably too low for you to hear what it has to say so I'll just tell you what it says oh alright anyways we'll just get in there and do it anyways screw it alright so you get your little black box. Once you get your little black box, you come into this computer room. Once you're in this computer room, over here by the power switch, if you turn to the right, there's a computer. If you go up to it and hold square, or X on Xbox, it'll put the black box from your inventory right there and attach it to the computer. The computer will now tell you that you need to upgrade your security clearance. So if you're playing on solo, you will need to upgrade your security clearance to a level 4. If you are playing in multiplayer, then if it's a 4 player game, each of you will have to be at a security level of 1. If it's a 2 player game, then two of you would be at a security level of 2. And if it was a 3 player game, then one of you would be at a security level of 2, and two of you would be at a security level of 1. So it's kind of interesting because if you do it solo the game does change it and allow you to pick up other people's security cards so you can still complete the easter egg and if you do it multiplayer it does switch back and force you to actually pick up each security card with the character that coincides with that particular security card so alright as you see I've just kind of ran them all down here to the exosuit room I did so just because I wanted to grab the drone and since I did that I figured what the heck we'll ball them up in this room for this round so now that we've got them all balled up in this room we will go ahead and start killing some stuff and get us some points again
Alright. Go for those headshots the best we can. Headshots are always nice for points. Tink, 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 tink. Gotta love that. Gotta love that sound. That's a great sound. That's for lunging at me. Alright, so we're getting down to the last few. We'll see what we got real quick and then we'll kill off what we don't need. We'll take down those two, keep the one in front. Come down here and grab the piece for the secret song real quick. Um, the secret song's obviously not needed for the Easter egg. I just like to do it along the way, so we will do it along the way. Alright, so once you've come in this room and you've attached it to the computer, the next step is getting the security cards as I said. So we'll go ahead and run through the security cards real quick, show you how to get them, where to get them, what character they coincide with in case you're playing multiplayer. Um, let's see here, what should we do first? We'll do Oz's first. So for Oz's you will need Boost Slam, so I'm going to go ahead and pay to open the main hub and I'm going to pay to get Boost Slam really quick. And then at the end of this round I will save a zombie and show you how to get Oz's security card. Mine is, I'm Lilith right now by the way, so mine for this game would be honestly very simple. Lilith's just requires an EM1 and a thousand points so you can roll the chest while holding the EM1. But I don't want to do that one till later in the game when I've gotten a lot of points and whatnot. So for right now we'll just go ahead and dink around out here. Um, I don't know what's going on. Once again it seems like the game's fluking out on me. The next round started and now I have no zombies. Alright, you guys gonna finally come find me? Nice. Maybe it didn't start the next round. My bad. I thought they bled out. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I feel stupid now. I, I apologize. I thought they'd been bled out. Alright, there we go. Now they bled out. Perfect. No? Oh, man. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's that white score down there. I'm constantly thinking it's flashing that good white. Like the numbers are rolling over. Oh, that's hilarious. Alright, so on to Oz's. On to Oz's security card. Sorry about that little hiccup there. So you come down here into this hallway, down into holding. You go into this cubicle room. What you're going to do is shoot this lever under this cubicle until it breaks off. Then you're going to boost slam the top of this cubicle. When you do so, the third cubicle is going to shoot up. The second one will go down, the third one will shoot up. If you look at the front of it, there's a door. When this one goes down and this one shoots up, in the bottom right corner of that door on that cubicle will be Oz's security card. So we'll go ahead and start shooting away at this lever real quick to get on with this. Um, it does take a lot of shots, so you'll have to run the zombie around a few times. Make sure he doesn't get you while you're doing this. This side's probably one of the easiest to see the lever from. This side right here is really easy to shoot it from the top, so I recommend shooting it from one of these two sides. Boom, there we go, lever's gone. So we shot it, shot it, shot it, it finally broke off and disappeared. We'll drag the zombie away to make sure we don't accidentally kill him, and then we'll hop up and boost slam the top of the cubicle. And the third one comes up, and in the bottom right corner right there you see a card, I pick it up, and if you look down in the bottom left corner of the screen at my character's card, there is in the top right corner of your character card a little red square with a white number. It will start out at zero zero. If you look now, mine is zero one. It's because I picked up his security card, so I've gone up the first security level. So that's how you can tell if you've picked up a card. Um, Basically, now we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing. We'll corral them all up. We'll get some headshots and whatnot to get the easy points. Um, it is it is a little bit time consuming, like I said, sometimes in these earlier rounds, but it is uh, 
pretty recommended because it does get you a lot of heavy points with barely shooting your gun at all so you're not going to end up having to waste all your points buying back bullets every two seconds alright so now that we've got them all corralled out there by the bus we'll go ahead and come down into this room the main hub and we'll just slowly start plugging away into the crowd and getting those good penetration points you want lots and lots of penetration points tons of points for little bullets that's the way to go go for those head shots tink to tink tink gotta love those oh look at him just scuffling right through them things alright so we'll just scuffle on through there get our max ammo and everything we need we'll take out these guys run in here so we can get this zombie I'm thinking we're probably towards the end of the round so we don't want him walking through that security quite yet ah there we go now we're running through he won't get chomped on by the doorway come get us some camo make sure we're actually on it this time alright so we're on the camo camouflage is basically highly important for one of the next steps that's coming up pretty soon um, I'm not sure what to go for from here let's see what should we do we'll do incinerator room alright we'll do incinerator room so Decker's card pretty simple um, huge pain in the butt at the same time don't really know what to say about it basically all you gotta do is shoot the floor to find his card sounds simple uh, his cards incredibly hard to see even when it does pop up through the floor if you do shoot the right spot so kind of a huge pain in the butt at the same time but what you're gonna wanna do is basically come to a trash chute there's one here there's one in the exosuit room make sure your zombies away from it what you're gonna do is pay it a hundred and back up and then pay it 500 to go in right after that it's gonna drop you down to an incinerator room with a wall that's slowly caving in on you as it does that you're just gonna run down each side of the room shooting the floor if you shoot the correct spot on the floor it will basically pop up Decker's card so you just come shoot the floor keep hitting square hope you grab the card um, as you see I actually didn't find it this time so we'll go back down there again on the next round and we'll look on the floor and see if maybe I just didn't see it after shooting it so we can grab it real quick it's kind of a pain in the butt like I said all you can do is just shoot the ground if you shoot the right spot it'll come popping up out of the ground and you can hold square to pick it up but sometimes you literally cannot even see it when it pops up out of the ground so you just kinda have to run around spamming the square button or X on Xbox and and hopefully you'll pick it up so we'll, we'll get through this round and we'll go down there again don't get a uh, don't get irritated if you go down there and you shoot the crap out of the ground and run around hitting square and you don't find it on your first try as you see I uh, I honestly didn't get it on my first try either on this round so alright I'll try to uh, I'll try to calm down a little bit with all the dashing I know I'm going a little dash crazy try to calm that down a little Hopefully the video won't be too slurry and stuttery on you. Alright, so I'm going to go for my uh, exo health real quick. I want to move on with the game and get on to these other cards. So I want to get my exo health and make sure I don't have a fluke down real quick. Oh, and I literally don't even have the uh, power on. So I'm going to have to waste money to go up through this side of the game since I just blew it. I don't I don't know what's going on once again as you see it's fluking out the zombies are taking an hour and a half to even come get me there they're stuck again maybe I need to go back and get them again yep <laughs> wow great gameplay here great gameplay gotta love this uh, lag ops I got going on oh wait that's right this isn't black ops it's advanced lag fair um, 
Anyways, we'll get on with the gameplay here. Get them balled up. Go back through the other half of the map real quick. Um, basically I blew it. I didn't turn on the power to the exo health machine. I then also had to waste a bunch of points so that I could make a big circle around the map. So We're going to go ahead and just waste some more to get this door open now. Say screw it. Get back out in the courtyard and stack our points up real quick for this round. And we'll uh, save one at the end and see if we can go down and get Decker's card real quick for you. Come on, where you guys at? I know you're coming for me. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Oh man, these guys really don't want it. I love peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Alright, so we're starting to get our zombies back. I'm going to go ahead and headshot them off real quick. Headshot them. Headshot them off real quick. What do we got here? Atlas 45! Alright, my buddy. I like this thing. I don't, I don't know. People don't really care for it. I, I love it. Wow. Gotta love the accuracy. And the fact that I have none. But I can still do the Easter egg. <laughs> Oh, I'm just messing with you, messing with you. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get on in here real quick. Um, there's 25 and get in here real quick so we can get these points. Whoa, no booster. Give me that booster. Right in your belly. Alright, so we'll belly him in the belly real quick, get down here and get that exo health so we don't have no flukes real quick. Turn on the power this time. Go ahead and grab this uh, piece for the secret song real quick. Alright, get that good. Dun 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 Gotta love the new song they got. Corniest thing I've ever heard on zombies. Alright, so we'll get on to the next round, it sounds like. Yep, zombie bled out. Next round's coming. Perfect. We'll go ahead and just get a bunch of points up this round. At the end of this round, we'll go grab Deckers. Oh, perfect! It's cons! Time for cons! So, I'm gonna um, basically tell you what we're gonna do, and then I will probably turn off the commentary for a moment so that I can slow down the video as I do it so you can see it while I'm running through the hallway in slow motion. Basically when you get an infected round you have the chance to get Khan's security card. Khan's security card is hidden in an office down the hallway on the other side of this room and it requires that you get infected and then come down the hallway and hit square at all four of his keypads while infected. So we'll go ahead and hit these. We'll go into camo mode right here and I'm actually not going to have to slow mo it. It probably went slow enough for you to just listen to this and watch and everything. So, Boom. We went. We hit the four keypads. It's going to open a little window right here that has Khan's security card right there. So we'll grab Khan's security card, we'll hurry up and get out of infected mode before we bleed out. And boom, we are off and running. So that is why it is good to save your camouflage for the infected round. Because then you can just use that technique and get his card very easily. Now if you are playing multiplayer, um, you're going to have to split the, the key cards not the key cards, but the, the four pads down the hallway that you have to go and hit while you're infected, you will have to split those amongst each other. So if there's two of you, both of you will have to get infected, and both of you will each have to hit two different keypads. One of you will have to hit keypad one and two, the other will have to hit keypad three and four. So 
Um, keep that in mind. If you're playing four player, all four of you have to get infected and all four of you each have to hit a separate keypad. One player hitting number one, another player hitting number two, a third player hitting the third, and a fourth player hitting the fourth. And that will unlock the window to access his card then. So, that is how you get Khan's card. Now that we have Khan's card and we have some points stacking up at the end of this round, we should be able to just save a zombie, go down into the incinerator room, and recheck for Decker's card real quick so we can grab that up off the ground since we epically failed and did not see it the first time. So these EMP ones are pretty nasty. If you get these EMP zombies on your screen, you're definitely going to want to make quick work of them, whether you're trying to build up a train or not, because you don't want them getting a hold of you. So we'll go ahead and get off into this room so we can make work of this little lightning bugger. Alright, we got lightning down. Alright. Dun, 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 dun. All right, and now we can go back out to the main room. Perfect. And we'll just stack up some points real quick again. Oh, no boost slam. That wasn't wise. two crawlers. Perfect. So we'll get rid of these three. Um, what's that? Security? No, we don't want no security. That'll chomp those guys up. Alright, so now we're down to two crawlers. We'll go ahead and hop down in that incinerator room again real quick. Oh, three, so we'll take one out. Alright, we'll hop down in the incinerator room real quick and we will go for grabbing Decker's card real quick. So, if you're playing multiplayer, anybody can go down here and shoot up his card, but you're going to want him with you because only he can pick it up. So, it's probably best if you just send him down to do it. Um, we'll go ahead and pay 100 back up and then pay 500 and drop down to the incinerator room. We'll try to spam both sides of the room real quick and see if we see a card. I don't personally see any card anywhere on the floor, so we'll try and reshoot it up again. Oh man, I'm not seeing it. This is not good. Alright, so we're going to drop down here, do it a third time, and we're going to start at the very back end of the room. It's got to be in one of the back corners of the room. Um, normally it's in the center of the room or more towards the trash chutes. Every now and then it'll be towards the back end of the room. And when it is, in my opinion, it's kind of a pain in the butt because that thing closes in on you quite quick and makes it hard for you to get to the back of the room and pick his card up. So... We'll go ahead and just move on to a different step for now. We'll go ahead and go for the EM1 real quick in the box. Um, let's see, what do we get here? Nothing that we want. Um, see if we can get this EM1 real quick. Ah, we got the cell 3 it looks like. Yep, cell 3, that's nice. So then we'll trade this maybe for the EM1 if it comes up. We get it? Get it? Big money, EM1. Alright, so we'll just go on to the EM1 security card, which is Lilith's. So, we'll go ahead and skip Decker's for a moment. We'll have to stack up a few more points, go back down in the incinerator room a third time. It's kind of starting to make this film almost an epic fail because of how irritating it is to find Decker's card all of a sudden this game. Um, but we'll go ahead and do this step. Basically, you're going to need a thousand points and you're going to need to shoot the random chest while um, rolling the random chest. And you're going to need to shoot it with the EM-1. It can't be any other weapon other than the EM-1. So we're going to get a thousand points and then we're going to come back and we're going to shoot the random chest while rolling it. 
Instead of spawning a weapon, it will spawn Lilith's security card. So, we'll go ahead and run this round real quick, get a crawler or two at the end, and then we'll go back and roll the chest while shooting it with the EM1 and get her security card real quick. I don't like the way that came out. Security card real quick. Oh, I'm just frazzle dazzling you. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I am really actually quite bummed. Like, I'm very excited with the new zombies, but at the same time, I am very epically bummed because they had just basically added a way for you to pause the game in Black Ops 2 while playing solo zombies. Now, technically, the zombies on this game is made by another company. I believe it was Treyarch Zombies before, and now it's Sledgehammer Zombies for this one. So, it's technically a different company. However, it's on the same game series, so you think it'd be very similar. Um, in this one, basically, on Solo, you cannot pause the game at all. So, I am very bummed. It kind of sucks for high round gamers. Weapons like this allow you to have very great games. This Cell 3 is basically the new Wonder weapon of the game, so you're getting to see gameplay of the new Wonder weapon, by the way. But, uh, basically, the Cell 3 is, I guess you could say it's a triple barrel revolving shotgun. It's got three barrels on the tip, all three of which rotate every single shot. So it's pretty nifty to fire and watch the front end do its thing. And it's a one-hit quit for a whole herd of zombies in front of you, every shot. So this thing is basically the new dominator, the new beast of zombies. But as I was saying... Stuff like this allows you to have phenomenally high round games, and now all of a sudden you probably will not be able to have all that high of a round of a game unless you want to be a coward and hide in a glitch because you will pee your pants after an hour and a half of playing the game. Um, on with the quest. We're going to go to this, we're going to roll it, and we're going to shoot it at the same time, and it's going to spawn Lilith's security card instead of a weapon. So we'll roll it, shoot it, and there's her card. So we'll hold square, take her card, or X on Xbox, and voila, we now have security clearance three. So all we need to do is get on down there and grab good old Decker's card off the ground again. We'll go ahead and trade out the EM1 for an MP11 again, I guess. We'll go ahead and drop down to the incinerator room and see if we can't grab us a, a Decker security card so we can get on with this stinking Easter egg. I am so frustrated. This is not legit at all. Why am I having such trouble with his security card this round? Alright. So, we'll go ahead and start the next round and try it one more time, I guess. Alright, so the next round is going to start. We'll go ahead and try this trash shoot again. See if we can get his card one more time. I'm honestly getting a little frustrated. I don't think I've ever had quite this much trouble getting his card before. Oh, there it is, right there, on the floor. Alright, so we'll pick that up. There we go, we can get on with this easter egg. We now have all four security cards. So that's how you get Decker's security card. Like I said, huge pain in the butt some games. Some games I've gotten, like I've gone down there, I've shot the floor, I've seen it on the very first try, picked it up and been on with the game. Usually I go down, if I don't get it on the first, I get it on the second. Um, 
I think once I've gotten it on the third try, so that right there is pretty much like an epic fail right there. I mean, that was four tries to get one card. That was pretty sad right there, but just to uh, show you how difficult it really can be sometimes, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on in there like that and let you see that it really took me four tries. But anyways, we can get on with the uh, Easter egg now. We're pretty much at the end of it now that we have those security cards, so bear with me. It'll probably take about another ten minutes or something, and we'll be done with this thing. We'll be at the cutscene for you. And I don't know if you've heard or not, but on top of a cutscene, you actually do get one cool new thing for completing the Easter egg. It will actually unlock a special weapon upgrade machine that's kind of like a super weapon upgrade machine. Um, basically, when you run around the map, you have machines on... There's two different machines, I believe. Not a bunch. There's two, but... But, uh, you've got two machines throughout the map where you can go and pay 2500 to upgrade your weapons. They upgrade and upgrade and upgrade until they get to level 20, and then they are maxed out. When you complete the Easter egg, it will unlock a new machine that when you go to it and pay it 2500 it will tell you level 20 weapon required. And if you go to it with the level 20 weapon and put it in it and pay it 2500 it will give you a level 25 version of that weapon. So it'll make it a super doped out mega pack of punched version. And it will switch from the royalty 20, the level 20 royalty camo, it'll switch to a level 25 diamond camo. So, it's pretty cool. It allows you to get a significant boost to your gun compared to the regular machine, which allows you to get significantly farther in the game. So, that's always handy. But we'll go ahead and get rid of this guy real quick. We'll take these crawlers into the computer room where we first deposited the black box. And we will basically let it know that we have passed the four security cards. Um, and if you're paying attention, you'll notice right now I actually have a security level of 10. So it activates the next step of the quest pretty much for you, whether you talk to the computer or not. But you're supposed to come talk to the computer and let it know you had the four cards. And it will say that you still don't have enough security clearance, that you need to still go gather more cards. So then you will just run around shooting zombies. And as you shoot zombies, that will happen right there. They will drop cards sometimes. Not all of them, but some of them will drop cards randomly as they die. And the ones that do, if you run back over their dead bodies, it will automatically collect the card and add it to your security level. So what you're going to do now is basically just run around training zombies and killing them and running back over their dead bodies until you have a security level of 49. Alright, sorry about that folks, my camera cut off the second I said level 49, so I had to run around real quick. Um, basically I had a buddy of mine take the sticks and just run around in circles not doing a single dang thing. Um, as you see the round number has gone up a round or two, but other than that I still have the same guns, I still have the exact same inventory, everything. Um, so no, it's not a like I cut out anything or anything like that my memory card got full and my camera died so I lost about a round and a half of footage because I had to download the memory card and then put it back in so I could get back to filming so I haven't done anything further on the Easter egg I'm still at um, security level 11 and other than that I'm back on the sticks I apologize we're gonna kill this zombie and we're gonna get on with this Easter egg real quick so We'll kill him and we'll get on with this Easter egg. Now, like I said, what you're going to do is basically just train zombies and run over their dead body collecting cards as they fall from the dead zombies. So, pretty simple. Just run around, collect them till you get to 49. Um, I still have my good old cell 3, so 
Even though I'm rocking the beginning MP11, I have big faith we'll be just fine. We can always pull out the self 3 when we get in trouble. Alright, so classic CG fashion. We'll just ball them up real quick and then take down the cluster so we don't gotta waste off too many bullets. EMP, no! Alright, so... Now that we're finally dwindling down on this crowd here... I'm gonna slowly get on with this here Easter egg. Once you start getting towards the end, you can get a little more crazy with it, hopefully, so you can kind of backtrack and run over the dead bodies and make sure you're actually collecting some of these cards, because... I haven't been doing the best job of running back over the bodies, and for that I haven't collected too many cards. I'm up to a 16 now, so I went up a whole five cards that round. 17, so... So I apologize. I uh, was kind of zoning out there for a minute, just kind of doing my thing. Every now and then I kind of forget that I'm supposed to be running back over bodies and picking up cards at the end. It's a real easy step to the Easter egg, but it just, sometimes you forget all about it. Alright, so we'll bring them down here. And then once we got them all down here, we'll go ahead and just let the drone tear them up. So we'll switch to the drone. We'll go down the trash chute before we die real quick. Before we have an epic fail. Alright. Things got a little hectic there. Wasn't really doing the best in the exosuit room. It's not really where I prefer to camp, honestly. So sometimes that happens. I uh, bailed off through the trash chute because I can't afford to go down since I don't have my exomedic and I don't want to have an epic fail uh, damn near at the end of the Easter egg. So... Sorry about wasting a bunch of time there, but sometimes you just do what you gotta do. Alright, so while we're thinking about it, we don't want to have any flukes along the way. We're gonna go get that exomedic. Alright, we'll drill them right here in this doorway. That should be a pretty decent spot to come back through. Try to get through some of them dead bodies there. Alright, that shot me up a few cards. That's nice. Yeah, for me it's kind of the hard thing is getting back over all the dead bodies. Um, here, to speed things up quite a bit, this will make a significant difference. We'll go ahead and just do this to speed things up. Grab us them contact grenades. 
I forgot all about that. This is like the best little trick in the world for getting these cards up real quick when you gotta train them at the end. So, we'll go ahead and just launch a few grenades, take them all out, run over the crowd real quick, stack up all these security cards real quick, we're up to a 24 now, real quick and easy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So now we're getting there. That, that helped quite a bit. Up to 27 out of 49. Another 22 to go. Alright, so we're going to um, come get another one of my little buddies real quick that I love. The explosive drone. And we're going to go back out front real quick. Um... Hopefully here in a second I can find a way to get in there and grab that medic real quick. I really still want that exo medic just in case since we're getting into later rounds. Um, did I keep my... nope, didn't keep my Atlas 45. That's right, traded in because I got a cell. Yeah, sometimes I get this cell 3 and I just can't help myself. I got to trade in and, and have two good guns, but I like to keep that Atlas 45. I've uh, basically ran the Atlas 45 to level 20 in the regular machine and was really depressed. It didn't do anything all that special for the Atlas 45 at all. It didn't, it didn't make it like a Mustang and Sally or anything like in the original Zombies. So I was pretty depressed. But then I thought about it and on the Easter Egg you can go up to 25 in the Super Machine. So one of these days I want to uh, remember to keep that thing in my back pocket and run it up to level 25 and see if maybe at 25 it gets some sort of dope special ability that we just haven't figured out quite yet. But I will let you know, um, hate to burst your bubble if you were hoping anything different, it is kind of a big bummer in that sense. You get it all the way up to max level weapon or whatever with the uh, regular machine and it's still just a good old Atlas 45. I mean, it gets a uh, laser sight and threat detection and, you know, it says Mark 20 and all that. It has the royalty, but the bigger clip, all that, but but damage-wise, it, it doesn't do nothing. It still just acts like a starting pistol, so that's kind of depressing, I think. finally got some Man, I just love boost slamming them things. I don't know. I, I think it is just hilarious boost slamming these things. Oh! He swatted me in the butt cheek. He infected my butt cheek. Alright, so we'll go get on infected real quick. Um. Infected rounds, I really don't care about cards at all. I just try to stay uninfected and stay alive. So, we'll get uninfected real quick. Oh, shoot. Come back. We'll take him down real quick. Alright. So, now that we're uninfected, we got a whole bunch of points to kill and whatnot. So, we'll come in here. We'll get some more points real quick. Once we get some more points, we'll come in here. I'm gonna check out for some more points real quick. Um, then we'll throw in the weapons, knock these bad boys out. Um, yep, we'll grab the soldier real quick. Make sure we got the health already. 
And then we got the boost slam. We got the medic. Um, do we? I don't know. Let's go see. Do we got that medic yet? Make sure here. Make sure you got everything you need. Oh, okay, yeah, we got that medic now. Um, what else we need? Uh, reload. We'll go for some quick reload real quick. Alright, so we're going to run around and just grab all these real quick before we get on to the next round. Um, having all your abilities and your weapons upgraded and reloaded and all that good jazz is obviously very helpful to the game, so we'll go ahead and just take two seconds to knock that out real quick. Grab some more points. Get another reload real quick. Man, the Cell 3 is just a wrecking train. We'll get back to giving you some Cell 3 gameplay. So, we'll go ahead and get our crowds up. And then, now that I have my explosive drones and my contact grenades, we can get on with this Easter egg quite a bit quicker. So we'll go ahead and just put one of those down, blow them up, run back through it like so. On top of that, we even got the insta-killer, which will help out drastically too. So we're going to get a bunch of cards up, spray them down, come get a bunch more cards up. Oh yeah, cards are just floating up. We're at 39. Where are we going? Alright, we're up in the 40s. Alright, so we need uh, eight more cards, it looks like. Go ahead and get eight more real quick. Alright, so we'll get them all balled up like so. Once we get them whoa, balled up, we'll throw down this drone here. Grenade the spot. Boost slam the spot. Go ahead and run through all the cards real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Pick them up. We're at 45 now. Get on them. Is there more anywhere? Nope, 45. Alright, so it looks like maybe one more round and uh, we can get on to the cutscene. We just need to have our good uh, security clearance first to end this Easter egg, so... Bear with me, I'm at 47. It looks like we need two more security cards to go. Probably even get one from that crawler when we kill him, hopefully, so... And yes, we even got one from the crawler, so I literally need one more security card, and we are money. So we'll just keep upgrading this cell 3. I know, I keep saying I'm going to play with it, and then I switch right back to that MP11. I'm sorry, I, I do piss poor commentary, and I don't even keep my word on what weapons I'm running with for the round. That's horrible. But I, I do do a pretty good run of the Easter egg, you must say, even with the epic four times into the incinerator room to get the card fail. But other than that, CG is kind of one mean beast. If, uh you don't want to lie to yourself, you gotta admit that. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all folks, so save them uh, contact grenades for stuff like that. Now that you don't need to waste them, you really don't want to. Um, here, we'll even do one of these real quick, just to wipe the field and run over some cards, see what we can get. Alright, so we're already at 49. So we'll go ahead and just save us a zombie at the end of the round, and other than that, we are good to go. Get rid of the electric one. We don't like Mr. EMP here. Oh, get rid of that one. And are we down to one? We're down to one. Big money. All right. So, you have your 49 cards now. You've ran around and trained for a few rounds. You've shot the crap out of everything, ran over the dead bodies, got the security cards. You're up to 49. Once you get to 49, you are going to have to go back to the computer where you first put the black box. So we will get back to that computer. We will go and we will hold square, or X for Xbox, and 
it will basically say you have not signed in today. So, by that, it means each character has their own sign-in keypad. This is a sign-in keypad. It looks like that. It is a little box on the wall that has a finger pad on it, a security finger pad. So, basically, there are four security finger pads. There is one in the exo room. Um, do I not have my auto mantle enabled? What is good? When you come into the exosuit room over here in this corner, there is a little hall right there. When you go into the hall, you will find Decker's sign-in pad. That is Decker's sign-in pad. If you are Lilith, like me, you will find Lilith's right here. So we'll sign in to Lilith's. And now my security is 50. It turned green, it said welcome, you are signed in for the day, and now I'm security 50. Um, let me show you cons and Oz's real quick before we go to the cutscene. So cons, little finger pad, if you are con and you need to sign in, it is right there in the white room where you do his little Easter egg to get his card basically. And then if you are Oz, it is almost going to be the same style of thing. It's going to be very close to where you had to do his little Easter egg section to get his security card or whatever. So we'll come in here, and this is where you did his little thing to get his card. The next room right next to the Exo Health right there on the wall is his sign-in. So if you are Oz, that is where you sign in. So that's the four finger pads. That's what characters they go to if you need to sign in. Um, well, you're obviously going to have to, so so when you're ready to sign in, that's where you do it, and that's who you do it with. Um, once you've signed in, you're going to go back to the computer and talk to it again. And it's finally going to say, yay, you have enough security, good job. Once you do that, you are going to go to the exosuit room, and you are going to act like you grab a new exosuit and it is going to tell you you already have an exosuit when you do that it is going to activate the secret song again it will activate the cutscene and it will open this wall right here which will open that weapon machine behind that door it's a secret upgrade machine that lets you go to level 25 instead of 20 so we will do that now. We will hit the exosuit. It says exosuit already online. The super machine is now open. It says requires level 20 weapon. So you know that's big money. Um, the trash chute apparently does not work. Wow. I didn't know the trash chute didn't work during the cutscene. I thought I could just trash shoot back to the beginning real quick. Crap. We've got to get back to the beginning real quick so you can see this cutscene. Alright. So... When you come out here, you look up, and there is a warbird! Yay! Rescue! It's gonna come get me! Yay! I'm so happy! Come get me! Come get me! What? 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 Hey! 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 War, warbird! War, war, warbird? Uh, warbird. Huh. Well. About that. Um... I hope you enjoyed the show, folks. Uh, thanks for sticking along for the ride. This is CG2269 thanking you. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. That is how you do the full Easter egg. And other than that, what, 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 what? Goddamn Warbird, don't do shit but crash. And you keep fighting zombies. Have a good one.